Here is a 95 Legacy Harness. This one's going into a bay window bus. So first thing I'm going to do is just get rid of the unnecessary connectors and show you what we have left. The unnecessary connectors have been cut off. So let's take a look at what we have here. Let's start with the uh, ECU connector. Right there, obviously don't cut that. That goes up here. We have the Subaru Select Monitor, the test mode connectors. We have the main ignition relay, fuel pump relay, and we also kept a relay for the um, radiator fans. We'll get that connected. This is uh, me meant to be for the heater blower, but you know, convert that over. And we have the OBD2 connector. Okay. ECU connector. Let's follow this string down. And we have the engine plugs. We have the, uh, these are all the engine plugs right here. And we have the O2 sensors right here. And then on this string here, we have the igniter and we have the starter. And we have the mass airflow sensor, the atmospheric pressure sensor, and the pressure sources sensing solenoid valve, PSSSSSSSSV. So that's it. Next up, I'm going to take off all this protective coating and start stripping away these wires. All of the tape and the unnecessary split loom has been removed. So now we have the loose wires that we can just pull out. The loose wires have been removed and now it's time to identify the wires that uh, were loose but terminated in the uh, ECU connector. So um, I'll put a link in the description to an ECU pinout chart. That'll help immensely when you're trying to trying to identify these. Using the ECU pinout chart, um, you'll find a link in the uh, description. Uh, using that, I was able to identify the wires that terminated at the ECU pinout or uh, ECU connector. And um, also from the engine connectors here, there are a couple wires. In the 95, we have a purple and a green. The purple is the water temperature gauge and the green is the uh, oil pressure switch. So going back over here, I added this relay for the um, for the fans. So it's gonna kick on when, uh, from the Subaru ECU, it's gonna tell this relay to turn on, which then sends a signal to the fans. Also uh, identified a few wires that need to be spliced. So first off, this original relay was for the blower we're converting it to the fan. So you take the pin that goes to the fan and splice it into this relay to trigger it. Also the grounds, one is for the uh, ignition relay here. This pink one here goes to pin 50 on the ECU connector. And that just tells the ECU that it's now in a manual transmission vehicle. And this is the ground to the engine ground, so that's what that does. I've also identified the ignition wire. This will go to your ignition uh, key switch. And this is the battery. This needs to go through a fuse to the battery hot. And then I've also um, got this. This is for the um, fan relay as well. This is just the ignition source for it. So that needs to be spliced. Then we have the vehicle speed sensor. This is a busser proximity sensor, vehicle speed sensor. And uh, it has three connections, a ground, the sensor signal wire, and it also needs to see uh, ignition on. So those are the only connections that need to be made. There's about six. So I'm gonna splice those in now. All of the splices have been made, so now it's time to get everything kind of routed the way it's going to be in the bus. So I'll just start taping things into place and then show you where I have things ending up. Everything is routed to how it's going to be in the bus, so let's just go over everything.
that we have labeled here. Got the relays and the OBD2 connector. This is the uh, radiator fan battery, so this will go to the fuse box near the ECU. We have the Tesmo connector and the Subaru Select Monitor connector. We have all the wires that are uh, optional, as well as uh, a couple that are going to go into the uh, fuse panel. So, tachometer, uh, check engine lamp, radiator fan relay 2. So, this is an optional radiator fan relay trigger. We have the ignition switch, the AC switch, the water temp the neutral position switch, and the battery 12 volt. So we follow it out here, about midway down the harness, we have a little leg that comes off, and we have the fuel pump, the starter switch, the radiator fan, and the VSS. And we continue out, we have the engine connectors, and we have the oil um, pressure uh, switch here. This um, just connects to the VW oil pressure switch. So that's why it's out here with the engine stuff. The igniter. The atmosphere pressure sensor. PSSSSV. And the uh, uh, mass airflow sensor. So now I'm just going to cover it in split loom. Here is the harness uh, in the split loom ready for shipment. Now, normally before wrapping it in the split loom, I would attach the computer and do all the testing using the um, OBD2 Fusion software, testing the vehicle speed sensor, checking that the relays are working correctly. But I do not have the ECU for this harness. They did not send it to me. So um, this is kind of the end of what I can do here. And I don't completely tape it just because um, it gets real stiff when, you're, uh, when you have it fully taped. So I usually recommend um, taping once it's installed or as you're installing it basically um, so no alternator harness with this one either so i'm not going to be able to show you that on the 95 but they're all fairly similar but let me know if you have any questions about the 95 once again the um, uh, ecu pinout will be on the website and uh, this one's ready to coil up and get shipped out